Welcome back to Google SketchUp 8 for Architecture Students, brought to you by the School of Architecture at the University of Queensland. In this video we're going to make a subfloor structure and along the way we're going to cover items such as different ways of selecting elements, making multiple copies and arrays and the importance of snap points. So we're going to start the same way as we did in the previous video and we're going to make an end section of our joist 150 high, 50 wide, and then we're going to use the interpretive snaps to complete that. I'm going to use my push pull tool to extend that to 4.5 meters. Go to extents and have a look at that. Now I'm going to create a component from this, so I'm going to triple click it to make sure that I've got all the edges and surfaces highlighted. Use my components tool and I'm going to call this joist1 create. Okay, I'm going to copy this. Now I'm going to make an array of joists 600 spacing and there's going to be 8 joists copied or 9 joists in total. So I'm going to use my move tool move it across. Now make sure I've got my control key to modify it so I'm making a copy and not just moving it. I'm going to type in the move value which is 600, enter and then I'm going to do 8 times from my keyboard and you can see that appearing in the bottom right hand corner dialog box. Press enter and then what will happen is that it will continue that copy 8 times and give me an array of 9 joists. So if I'm going to go to extents there, you can see there's my nine joists waiting for me there. Now, when I use my highlight tool, the arrow in the top left-hand corner, and if I drag the tool from left to right, it makes a bounding box or a selection. Now, when I do that, it will find all of the elements within that bounding box and select them. Now, if I go right to left, you see the bounding box is different. It's a dashed line. So instead of having to completely surround an object, if I intersect an object, it will select those objects that the bounding box intersects with. Now I can also make individual selections by just picking an item and then I can hold the control key to then make multiple selections. So I'm going to just drag my marquee right to left and I'm going to move my joists up making sure that I've got it constrained on the blue axis so that I'm moving things accurately and I'm going to move it 2.4 or 2400 high. I'll get to extents there. Okay now I'm going to create a beam to support these joists. Now I'm going to go into the corner here. I'll use my pencil tool again going to go down along the blue axis. going to make the beam 200 deep, enter, and 75 wide. Then I go up, I can find the edges that I've started with. Now, I could probably work out how long that beam should be to get to the other side, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start dragging this beam and zooming at the same time with my mouse. So you need to be a little bit dexterous because I'm holding my left mouse button at the same time to preserve the push-pull function. And I'm just going to hover on the edge of that last component and you can see that the push-pull will snap to the length or to the edge of that there. So I've got the element, the precise length of the array that I've made there. Okay, I'm going to zoom around there. Now I'm going to triple click the element, the beam I've just made, make sure everything's selected. Again, I'm going to make a component from that, beam 1, create. Okay, now I'm going to just move this in 450 millimeters so that we've got a bit of a cantilever on the end to make it a little bit more efficient. I'm going to now copy this element component, sorry. So I've got the 
move tool, control to make a copy, go to the end. Now make sure I align it with the end point of that joist so that I know exactly where that beam is in space so it's nice and snug against that corner there and then I'm going to move it in 450. There we go. Okay, now we're going to make some posts for this structure to sit on. So what I'm going to do is I'll just use the rectangle tool here. I'll draw a rectangle on the ground, 100 millimeters, comma 100 millimeters. So I'm making a square column. Now I'm going to get that element and pull it up to make a three-dimensional element. You notice when I pull it up, I'm going to hover to the end point of that beam I've created. So again, I don't have to exactly type in the value, but I can snap to the value by just hovering at a component that I know it needs to finish to. Now I'm going to, before I do that, I'll triple click that. I'll make that a component. I'll call this column one create. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in to the end of the column and you'll notice I can pick up a midpoint. Now sometimes these snap points are not obvious when you zoom out and it can't quite find where some of the midpoint things are. So sometimes we need to zoom in. So I'm going to zoom in here. Now I can see I've picked up that midpoint. Now I'm going to move it and then snap it to the midpoint of that beam I've created. Again, I'm going to sort of, before I do that, I'm going to copy this beam and I'm going to copy it again to the end of that other beam. Now you notice that I've got a dashed red line through there that shows that I'm alignment with that other column along the red axis. Okay, so I'm going to control to sort of get multiple copies of that or multiple selections, my apologies, and I'm going to move it 450 millimeters in, enter, so there's our two beams 450 in. Now I'm going to zoom in and kind of try and get underneath that a little bit, and I'm going to do a copy, so I'm going to pick it up from the midpoint of the column there, control, now you notice that because I've got the two columns highlighted, I'm making two copies of this element, and zooming in to that end beam and I'm going to copy it to that midpoint there and you notice that I've got the gr green dashed line it means that I'm aligning with the green axis and that everything's nice and straight enter to accept and then I'm going to move these columns 450 in 450 like I have with the other ones as a final thing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a third set of uh, columns in the middle. So I'm going to pick these up from the midpoint of the column there, control to make a copy, making sure that I drag it along that component and I'm going to keep dragging until I can find the midpoint. Where are we? of that component through there. You see it's found that snap point, the midpoint of the beam. Now make sure that we've got the green um, alignment tool through there. Make sure that it's all aligned. Accept that. Hold the arrow key and then zoom around and there you can see our subframe constructed. Now you get the hang of multiple selections and copying elements and creating elements quickly using the snap tool. And sometimes it is a, a little bit difficult to make sure that things are in a line and having to sort of push more than one button at once. But the trick is to be always careful that things are accurately aligned and scaled so that you don't get any odd geometries as we go through.